You are on the road with Dr. Brian. Brian Kidd. Brian Kidd. I say, I say, you're on the road with Dr. Brian King. <laughs>Folks, this is Dr. Brian King. I'm here in Nashville, Tennessee, uh, which of course you can tell because I'm on Nashville's famous beach. Uh, and uh, I'm here to introduce my interview for today. Uh, I was, uh, ta I'm talking to a, a very talented uh, performer. She's uh, been a model. Uh, she's uh, of course a, a musician, uh, kind of bordering on the country music scene. Folks, everybody, I'm here with Tara Tinsley. Thank you. For I said it me. right there, right there. Yes, you did, Tara? finally. Okay. <laughs> it's tough with a name like that. It could be Tara, it could be Tara. Yeah, could be I know. To Taniqua. You know, it's yeah, uh, <laughs> really know. people call me Tiara even. Tiara? Yeah. Really? That's mm -hmm. uh, well that's good that's from your beauty pageant days, I would imagine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you kinda so Tara uh, as I mentioned, so Tara, you're a musician. Yes. Right. And I also mentioned uh, your beauty pageant days, too. You were uh, Miss San Joaquin Valley for 2010. Yes, I was. Yeah, how was... I, I, which do you... Uh, what title is more important to you? You know, musician or Miss San Joaquin? Because I... <laughs> Definitely <laughs> musician. It doesn't really require a lot of skill to um, be in a pageant. Really? It's uh, th that pageant was mainly all about looks and your two minute interview. You know, like right, oh, right, right. who are you in two minutes? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Th it was, there was no talent por portion of the competition or anything. So <laughs> definitely more proud to be a musician. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, you're just basically standing there, right? Can you wear a yeah. swimsuit and high heels? Yeah, right, right? exactly. Can, yeah. can you walk in those high heels? Did you have a falling? sash? Did they have did the yeah. sash kind of interfere with the swimsuit? Like how that? <laughs> well, you know, it was just wide enough to make you feel like you were kind of clothed, uh -huh. but you were definitely almost naked walking down. Nice, the nice. Runway. See, that's, that's a good way to be almost <laughs> naked, especially if you look good naked. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Huh? It makes you <laughs> yeah. proud, and it's definitely you know a, a male fan kind of thing. You know, do it sure, for males. Sure. Well, so uh, that was just uh, like an experiment. Uh, you, but you're really a musician, right? Uh, let's talk. What kind of music do you do? Well, you know, it's hard for a musician, any musician, to define their music nowadays because really? there's so many different. I don't know. Genres. I'd say, you know, uh, little. Yes, Lil Wayne. He says, "Fucking rapper." You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, he is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a pretty easy answer. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, you know, I would say. I'm kind of like acoustic rock with a country-esque feel sometimes, uh -huh. depending on the song. All right, so you don't you don't amp. No, not I mean not <laughs> lately. Sometimes, yeah. but uh, do you have a band? Sometimes, actually, now that I've moved here, I just have been playing with a bunch of different people, and mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of pickup musicians around. But in general, no band. It's just a lot of uh, drama that I've had mm -hmm. to deal with in the past. But <laughs> so you're you're performing over drama. Yes. Like, yeah. Right. You know, <laughs> but you know, it's it's cool when you can be the one, I guess, girl band or yeah, one, yeah, one yeah, band. yeah, yeah, yeah. So. How long have you been performing? Oh wow, a long time. Um, Probably half my life now, yeah, and so I won't mention so my like age. Six years. Yeah, no. exactly. <laughs> yeah. I just turned twelve. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> you started out in Michigan. Well, I grew up in a town of fifteen hundred people. It was mm -hmm. actually technically called a village because it was so small. A small town. Um, it was great because I grew up doing motocross and we had a track in our backyard, so I'd do that and then I'd play and. Mm -hmm. Very cool. That's amazing. I'm surprised you you survived your childhood. I know. I'm <laughs> still alive. No broken bones to this yeah. day. Wow. Actually, a cracked rib, but that was just from falling down the stairs. Where'd your inspiration come from? Well, uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. I just, as a teenager, you go through a lot of things that I don't know, there, there aren't really necessary feelings. We just try to find ourselves. And so uh -huh. I got inspiration just from, like, a lot of that, those questions, you know. Yeah. And I wasn't very popular in school, so, you know, the lack of friends gave me more time to, you know, really do music and really just, like, sit in my basement and just play. Wow, I, I, I can't believe you weren't more popular. Well, I wasn't much of a conformer in okay. high school, so I think that's a big reason why. Yeah, everybody else was on four wheelers. And you yeah. were and you were on yeah, screw that. Yeah, it's like I, I can balance on two yeah. wheels. <laughs> so you ended up in Tracy, California. But you know, I'm really glad I didn't end up in LA after moving to California, spending ten years there. 
and realizing a lot of what LA is. Mm -hmm. I mean, Tracy has nothing going on, but at least it was like, you know, close enough to San Francisco, Sacramento, right. and San Jose. And clearly nobody there was attractive enough to take the title from you, Miss Ex San, jo <laughs> San Joaquin. <laughs> or at least, you know, passionate enough about, a, you know, a joke that happened to make me get into it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. if someone dares me to do something, I'm going to do it. So you, went, you, you entered the uh, beauty pageant, uh, pageant on a dare. Yeah. Well, it was like a, it was kind of like a, a joke slash you could totally do it yeah. kind of dare thing. And I was just like, yeah, whatever, let's just do it. Because I like to make people laugh and I like to make myself laugh because I uh, thought they were going to say no and they didn't. And I right? laughed even harder. Like, are you That's serious? That's amazing. That's I'm it. not tall and I'm not like those girls. I but... love that you entered it on a goof. Uh, <laughs> and you won. That's crazy. What can I say? I don't That's know. That's nice. What did you do? Did you have a talent portion? Did you sing a song? No talent portion. No. So this yeah. is basically just straight what you look like. Yes, yeah, with you look what you look like and what you what, what you said and how you could articulate yourself. Wow. Yeah. I don't know. It's a it's a fake life, you know. And yeah. a lot of people get way too into it. I've seen girls after they pick um, and at the actual Miss California competition after they pick the top fifteen and you know I didn't make it. I was like mm -hmm. sixteen or whatever, but. There's girls in the back crying and saying they're gonna storm the stage and do all this stuff and I was laughing my butt wow. off. Wow, were, were they like did, did were they like taping boobs and all that kind of stuff? Or they? Oh my god, like, they they were doing things I didn't even know girls did. Really? I was I grew up a tomboy, so I was just it really blew my mind. <laughs> and like they spray their skin so it's like even looking. Uh -huh. Ooh, it's just a lot of it's gross. Wow, did you, you didn't do any of that, did no, you? No, that's probably why I didn't win. Yeah, yeah. well, you made San Joaquin. <laughs> you beat out all those yeah. other those. <laughs> Bitches from Tracy. <laughs> uh, so tell me, Tara, uh, what have been some of the highlights uh, of your career? Wow, I don't know. I just I think the people that I meet along the way, and the things I learn from the people I meet, and the people, the the random things that happen, like you know, being at a show and then someone's there that has this talent that you know, I they join me on stage and we make this show that wasn't even planned happen, mm -hmm. and, and maybe you know. I get an encore that wasn't expected, or I don't know, or people that come up to me randomly and then they start singing my songs to me, no way. you know, and oh, stuff like so that. Awesome. Yeah, especially in Japan, where one show I was at, these two guys after I released my new music mm -hmm. video on YouTube, they came up to me and they're like, Harley could speak English, and they said, "We like your video, your new song," and uh -huh. it's like, "What song?" And they start singing it to me, and that they so can hardly speak English, and. <laughs> Things like that that happen go, okay, I like this. Yeah, uh, you know, you're based in Nashville now. Yeah. Uh, and uh, what's going on in Nashville? What's happening here? Well, you know, I've been doing a lot of, you know, writer's nights, writer's mm -hmm. rounds, meeting people, networking, going out. Um, you know, just trying to get a feel for the industry here because it's a lot different than everywhere. So, you know, I'm scheduling meetings with mm -hmm. people to kind of talk to them about, you know, what would be the best steps for me, what's Nashville all about, because mm -hmm. it's just a different culture of music. Yeah. So now here's a point where you got to plug. Uh, how can people he listen to your music? Like I that? have three albums out, um, all available on iTunes, Let's my list website. those bad boys. Yeah, I got uh, my most recent album, Beautiful Day, was released in 2011. Mm -hmm. um, Sail Away was released in 2007 and uh, Come and Go 2005. And uh, how, if, if people are interested in following you, uh, how can they find out more about you, keep in touch with you? Got a website? Yeah, just my name, TaraTinsley.com. T-A-R-A. -A. TaraTinsley.com. Folks, that was my interview with Tara Tinsley uh, here uh, from beautiful Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.